Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to fix your iPad not installing app. So let's start off with the first fix, which is just force restarting your iPad. So in order to do this, on the iPad, which don't have a home button, you just want to do this uh, with me. So tap up, then tap the down, and then hold the power button, right? So tap volume up, tap volume down, and hold power. You need to do that relatively quickly in a quick motion. Just do it how you saw I do it in the video. And you just want to keep on holding the power button until you see the Apple logo. So just give it a little bit, should be much more. When you see the Apple logo, you can release the power button. Now, when it comes to the uh, home button iPad, I'll just show this on the iPhone 5C here. All you need to do is hold down power and home together. So just hold those two down and hold them down until you see the Apple logo. Uh, the Apple logo looks like this. Now, once you see the Apple logo, release both buttons and your iPad should go back to the home screen. Once it's back on the home screen, just retry the app downloads. If it does not work, what we can do is we can go to the next step. So the next step is offloaded application. So offloaded apps, I'm going to tr uh, see if I can find one, but you can see offloaded app right here. What these will do is they may conflict, right? And what, am, what I mean by conflict is these offloaded apps aren't actual apps, right? They're like, they have the app data, they have some other stuff, but they're not physical apps, right? So you may be trying to download an app from the app store and these offloaded apps are blocking you. So what you want to do is you just want to go to settings right here and you just want to find the app store and you see offload unused apps. You just want to turn this off, turn it off and then try again. Also, if you're trying to download an app update, go to general iPad storage and you want to find that game or app and just delete it off of your device. Now, of course, if the Apple game has sensitive data, which isn't backed up to the cloud, you're going to lose that. So just keep that in mind. But let's say the PUBG uh, uh, mobile, tap on it, delete app, then reinstall, and then that should solve the issue. Next, another thing you can do is just make sure the app you're downloading is from the App Store. The reason why is because if the app isn't from the App Store, and let's say it's from some third-party App Store on the internet, these third-party App Stores may not work. The reason why is because Apple doesn't natively allow side loading on iOS. The English translation of that is any third-party App Store which offers side loaded apps, Apple's going to try and block, right? That You know, those stores are legit. Some of them, not all of them. Some of those stores are legit. However, Apple may block you from downloading the app so the best bet the best way to continue is you just want to find the twitter accounts of these third-party app stores and they will always tweet when the app store is fully functioning when they got on past apple's blocks when that happens you can re-download your apps until then don't try you know if you try every week you may be you know waiting months it's best to just follow those app stores and when they are uh, resigned they're going to make a tweet and uh, you can get your applications from there if that, you know, if that all doesn't work, you can always just check your Wi-Fi settings. If you're on cellular data, your cellular data may have issues, so you may want to switch to Wi-Fi. Also, if you're on the Wi-Fi, tap on the I here. Make sure you have no proxy. Make sure the DNS is set to automatic. You can also set this to manual and then set this uh, ad server here to 1111. So uh, 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 1.1.1.1 here. And you can just remove your old server. Just try that. You know, at the end of the day, you know, best to always give things a shot. You can also make sure that your VPN isn't on. If VPN's on, turn that off as well. And really, by the end, you should have your applications fully working again. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.